Well, it's certainly no secret the sun can wreak havoc on your skin, but that doesn't mean you can't spray on a healthy glow. In today's Healthy, Wealthy and Wise, CBS 2's Dr. Holly Phillips talks to a skincare expert about safe self-tanning. Nothing says summer like a glowing tan, but we all know that basking in the sun can be bad for your skin. But there's no need to settle for that ashy winter look. A good old self-tanner can get you bronzed as a beach bunny without any of the risk. Here to discuss the tan in the can is Cindy Barshop. She's the owner of the Completely Bare Spa, which has locations in New York City and Palm Beach. Welcome. Thank you. So we've all seen orange people wandering around New York City. <laughs> How can we avoid that? How do you get a more natural look? A natural look would be leave it to a professional. Like at Completely Bare, we do a sculpted tan. You come in and we actually, based on your skin color, we shade you in different types of coloring. So mm -hmm. if you're light skin, we make sure that it's a light spray on tan. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of the sculpting, sculpting, you can whittle away the thighs or make the waist thinner? Yes, what we do is a shadowing effect. So on different parts of the area, we may look, make it a little bit darker on the buttocks, maybe your um, abdomen area. So this way you can look a little bit thinner and you don't have to lose the weight. I love this. This is cheating without the gym. Absolutely. Well, there's one product found in most self-tanners. Mm -hmm. It's FDA approved called DHA. Do you think the self-tanners are safe in general? I think they're very safe and it's an absolute wonderful alternative. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most important things with the DHA, it just goes on the top layer of the skin mm -hmm. and it emulsifies into the skin and works with your natural skin tone to bring out a deeper, darker look. Great. You had given us some tips to prepare for the at-home tan. Uh, be sure to exfoliate, completely air dry the skin, wear gloves so your hands don't turn orange, and apply the tanner in the direction of the hair growth. Are there any products that we can use at home that you particularly like? Uh, yes. Actually, there's like a L'Oreal product. Mm -hmm. which um, you could spray on and those are for hard areas to reach. The mm -hmm. Jergens, it's a great moisturizer and it has some firming lotions in it also so that's great for the legs and the buttocks area. Okay, it firms up cellulite, anything like a that? A little bit of a firming with the, also with the tanning so you have to oh, get great. a little two in one there. Um, and then if you really have a bad hard time putting on um, a bronzer, you could go with the Neutrogena because it's a foam and you could actually see it going on. All these we can just get at the regular drugstore? Yes, you And can. they're inexpensive? 17 to $25. Great. This has been great information. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Dr. Holly Phillips, and that's today's dose of Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. And for more on how to maintain healthy skin, watch our special report, Sunburned, Skin Cancer Exposed. It airs this Sunday at 11 a.m. right here on CBS2.